or possess with the intent to distribute abortion-inducing drugs when the purpose is to cause an abortion for another person. This is a bill to limit the trafficking of chemical abortion pills. Representative Denise Crosswhite Hader, who authored House Bill 3013, hopes to not only limit the trafficking of chemical abortion pills, but also help protect the health of women. These are the drugs that are dangerous for women if they're used under not the procedure that they were designed for, because they're you could have an etopic pregnancy. Representative Crosswhite Hader says this legislation also limits what people can use these drugs for legally. She says some of these pills are used for chemotherapy, and these pills can also be used under the care of their doctor if their pregnancy is not working or isn't viable. The doctor can prescribe them, and so they have been used for um, when a pregnancy is terminated under the care of a doctor. We reached out to an attorney to learn why legislation is needed to make trafficking specific drugs illegal. Our U.S. Constitution and our state constitution both have a due process requirement, and that requires, among other things, notice of what the crimes are to be committed. Grant Thetford, a local attorney, says many laws are challenged on constitutional vagueness. In another report, we mentioned that the Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics has been going to the legislature for the last three years, each time to outlaw new variations of nitazines, illegal painkiller drugs that are showing up in fentanyl. It feels like whack-a-mole that we just keep having a new drug pop up and then we have to react to it. A new drug pops up, we have to react to it. A new drug pops up, we have to react to it. There's an upcoming U.S. Supreme Court hearing about how these abortion pills are being distributed. According to Politico.com, the U.S. Supreme Court will hear oral arguments on how patients can access mufepristone, the commonly used abortion pill, on March 26th. Live in the newsroom, Ryan Stockett, News Channel 8.